So one of the best things about my job is if my golf game gets into trouble, I've got a little black book of contacts that I phone, get in touch with to help me out. And I posted on social media recently, I had a roundup at Formby Golf Club and I posted a couple of videos and Arcos screenshots. And I posted the best and the worst bits of my game. So it was a great drive, found this really tough fairway. And then there was a bunker shot where I hit it about there and ended up 45 degrees to the right. So I posted it on social media. I love to share my wins and a lot of fails there. Frederick popped into my replies and said, man, we need to sort out your setup. We're gonna sort out your bunker game. Let's meet up at the PGA Show Week. Here we are, PGA Show Week. Frederick, help me out. Yeah, I think, yeah. I mean, why don't you hit one or two, but I've already seen kind of what you're doing, which is a very common kind of pattern I see in many amateurs when they're in the bunker. Okay. But go ahead and hit one here, see what happens. Let's start out with a hole. <laughs> very good. But what you can see there, in my opinion, is that the club is moving a little bit too much underneath the ball. Luckily here, the sand is not very fluffy. It's kind of compact. Yeah. So you get away with it, hitting it kind of far and deep behind the golf ball. But if the sand is too fluffy, that club is just going to work too much underneath it. And you're going to tend to hit a lot of shots. Short. Yeah, that happens. Yeah. Or you feel like you have to hit it so freaking hard just yeah. to get it out of the bunker, right? So what I see, if you go to the side, I'll show you okay. kind of what I see, which is very common. That is a swing path that's way too far to the left and steep. So a very common miss is, Obviously, pretty much with all clubs of amateurs, they swing out to in kind of over the top. Yeah, like you... a mad axman. Yeah? Exactly, yeah. Pretty much tee to green. Chopping woods. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, so when you do that, the club is going to tend to get a little bit too steep. The leading edge, and especially the hustle, kind of leads into the ball. And so that's, that's when you shank it. Yeah. I piped one, yeah. So if you see really good golfers, a lot of them, I, I was uh, kind of filming with Luke Donald a couple of months ago. Okay, he's pretty good. He's pretty good out yeah. of bunker, right? Yeah. Uh, he, he feels like he's much more kind of neutral into it. He still feels like he's swinging slightly left, but a lot less to the left. Okay. So if you can feel like you're more kind of having more neutral plane, swinging out a little bit too, more to the right, you're not going to get as deep underneath the golf ball. You're going to be a little bit more shallow and you don't have to hit the ball so hard oh. for it to go the whole way. You see how much spin that has? That's nice. Yeah, it's because the ball is not, the club is not working too much underneath the golf ball. So it's okay. just a shallow divot. You're going to feel that little clip yeah. and the ball is going to stop right next to the pin. So okay. give it a go here. Okay, so and, what I'm gonna and do, tell me, so your face look really open. Do yeah. You, where do you set it? Do you set it? At a dress, do you do it or do you set it no. in the grip? So I kind of, I spin the club okay. until the club is open. I don't do this and then you... Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's... that's just going to bring that ozzle uh, right more. into play. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So we're we going to do want. this. We, do, okay. we don't want that. We don't want that. We want, we're going to put an alignment stick here to mess okay. with you a little bit. Okay. We're going to put the ball on the outside here. So if you were to swing too much to the left here, you're going to hit the alignment I'm stick. I'm worried about hitting the alignment stick. Yeah. And then we're also going to put the right foot back a little bit, okay. which is further going to help you to swing a little bit more in to out. Okay. If the right foot is too open, we're going to tend to swing left, right? Okay. okay. So I'd always been probably open the club, you know, get it into a dress, open the club, then open my stance. Yeah. I'm just bringing in a whole world of pain, yeah? Yeah, most often. Okay. Most likely because the swing pad though. So if you can neutralize the swing pad, still feel like you really release the club like you actually did pretty good okay. on that first yeah. one but with just a little bit more shallow So path. along the line of the stick? Yeah? Along the line. Try I'm, wor I'm worried about hitting the stick. I'll be yeah, of course, yeah. So, Try not to. There you go, so lovely. Open there. Lovely. So move back the right foot a little bit. It's gonna back feel a little bit. awkward. Yep. That way. Okay. There oh, you go, right. close stance. Wow. Lovely, just like that. Okay. okay. And now swing a little bit less hard. Okay. A little bit softer along that line. No. Okay, now it's all right. So what happened there is that you bottom out a little bit too far behind. Okay. So it's a little different feeling. I'm I gonna... had a lot of things to think about there. Yeah. It shouldn't be too much. Back well, foot and then uh, swing a little bit straighter. Try okay. one more. Right. So you, we don't need to hit it so hard. Now the stance is it's a little bit too far up in the stance, isn't it? Move a little bit more left. Yeah. Lovely, right so there. So we're just I would say like a ball heel, inside yeah? the left okay. heel is good for you, yeah. And again, straight through on the line. Yeah. yeah? And softer. Beautiful. 
stop way faster there. Nice. Okay? Still slightly too far behind. So we're gonna do one more drill. Okay. This is gonna be kind of your baseline. But here we're gonna see exactly how skilled you are in the bunker here. <laughs> All right, I want you to hit a shot here where you bottom out just on top of that line. Okay. okay. So we don't wanna be behind it. So give me three swings here where the divot is bottoming out just to the left of that line. Okay. 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 Still too far back, mm -hmm. yeah? So set up to that line again. I'm gonna tell you exactly what you're doing. So if you were to see yourself in a res reflecting right in front of you, you have a little bit too much tilt in the shoulders and the head is way back behind the golf ball. Okay. So what, what happens is that you're pretty much setting up like you're about to hit a driver. Yeah, yeah. And the driver will hit up on the ball, which means that the low point is behind the golf ball too. Sure. Much, right? So instead, so instead of setting up in this type of fashion, we need to get the shoulders more level and the head a little bit more right on top of the golf ball. Okay. And the beauty in the bunker is that we don't really need to create that much power with the body. So we can try to maintain the head over the golf ball throughout the whole motion so we can we control. Did. You see what that started? Right yeah, yeah. on top of the line that way. Okay. So set up to the line again. Imagine like the ball is right there. Yeah. So we want the shoulders to be more level. So you okay. need to feel the left shoulder down. You see what happened to the head? Yeah, it went a little bit brings more forward. It forward. Okay. And now I want you to rotate around that, uh, around the head. This is a lot of stuff it. to remember. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Okay. Rotate it around there. Much, much better. Now you start it on top of the, go of the okay. line. Okay, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna give that a go here. You don't need to hit it that hard. We'll try it again. Now we're gonna hit a ball. Beautiful, there. So we're thinking about the shoulders still tilting a little bit too much, there. Open up the face, good. And now feel like you're swinging a little bit more straighter and a little bit softer motion and bottoming out on that line. Beautiful shot, look at that height and spin. Great shot, now look at that. Not behind at all. So to, to summarize, okay? Yeah. So you were setting up, you were swinging a little bit too much to the left yeah. with the pad and you were setting up like a driver, yeah. which means that you're gonna bottom out too far behind all the time. Because I think subconsciously, I was thinking I need to get a bit of help to get it up in the air. Yeah. Whereas I know really that I need to keep my weight on the on my left foot. And you're gonna do that easier by just changing the tilt and the shoulder. Yeah. So the lower the left shoulder is, the easier it is to maintain the pressure left. Okay. And then if you look at really good bunker players, they have levy shoulders, definitely more pressure left, and then they just rotate around the head. Okay. You don't see any pressure shift or yeah. slide. Sway, yeah, 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 no, yeah. no. They just go very rotational from that point. So a little bit straighter path, a little bit adjustment in the setup, and you're gonna be golden. That was a good shot. Did you see the height difference? Yeah, That went Love straight it. up in there. Great. That's Winner. it. Everybody needs to see a bit of Frederick. <laughs>